Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Deliver Us the Moon. Last episode, we just turned on the power, which allowed us to get into the monorail station. Vehicle bay, I think is what it was called. So, now we need to realign the pillars, which are outside the moon hub, so we get to actually go to the lunar... <laughs> Uh, first, I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. I don't want to miss anything special. That may be kind of hidden, you know. On a rail. Maybe. I think... So, I don't know if this... The lift. Okay, um... So, I think it said that the Tombo... Survival survivors came from the monorail. Oh, so, to yeah, Tombo's that way. How you say that? Okay, so this one's gone. Fugens is where the one like cryo sleep experiment went wrong. I think is what they said. I guess I need to take this uh, rover out, I'm assuming is what I'm doing. Go outside. Yep. Is that like a sensor door or what? Oh, oh wait. Looks so good. Jeez, this looks great. This is go MPT pillar. I'm gonna go over to this like blue thing, maybe. Oh, here we go. There's a <gasps> yo, it's a land. I wonder if that's, uh, supposed to be the, uh, one, or if that's supposed to be, like, probably how the first people got up here. I doubt the original one is, uh, in this crater. I don't, I've never heard of that, because I know they landed the Sea of Tranquility, but I don't know enough about the moon. I definitely like just crashed and should have blown up right there. You know what? But well, that didn't happen. Oh, I just noticed that the little little guy is up on the top of the rover. Oh, my bad. You have to open all the way. What? Oh. I think I need to get out. Uh, okay. Ooh. That, yeah, airlock. Alright, we'll get oxygen here. Cool, okay. Ace can go in there. I forget how you control him. <laughs> uh... There we go. 
unlock the door. Nice. Okay. Ladder. All right. So it says I need to realign the two pillars. Pillars. So, I'm assuming that this is one of them. I didn't actually look if there was a pillar on top of this building. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, better not be an idiot and waste time and then die. Okay, yeah, this is definitely one of the pillars. I wonder how they got misaligned. So is that the sole issue causing the MPT blackout? Looks really cool though. Did a great job with the the lunar surface. Okay, we've used about a minute of our three minutes just climbing up here. So I hope I can just jump off somehow. Oh, oxygen. There we go. Oh, never mind. It's an oxygen powered lift, I guess. All right, well, oh, it's a chair. Okay. Here. So do I have to aim this? Something over here to the right? Gold things? Or are those just like bases? There might be a beacon where I need to aim it. Or I might need to aim it like up top. Oh, here we go, yep, beacon. Oh, okay, cool. But I don't have to climb down. So now we have to align the other pillar. It's over here. I'm wondering how I'm supposed to like escape because the top of the MPT exploded. And so I don't know how I'm supposed to like get back to Earth. <laughs> I don't know if that's even supposed to be part of the story or what, but I'm interested to see. And I'm interested to see what happened to, uh, well, the people who, the guy, I forget his name, but the, uh, the, well, the two guys that I was saying were kind of suspicious, but then also the, uh, the two people who were up on the MPT who came down. I think their names were Rolf and. Claire? Or was it... No, Sarah. Yeah, Sarah. Claire is the, the one that was helping us get up here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm interested in a lot of the characters and seeing what happened to them. Alrighty. Oh, that door's already unlocked. So, probably just gonna have to do the same thing, point it and shoot it at the, uh, the middle, the MPT in the middle, uh, I, why, I say the MPT in the middle, that is the MPT, these are just the, the pillars, I guess. I'm gonna try jumping. I, I was like, I have not jumped yet, so, that was pretty fun, I guess. Not, not really a reason to jump, though, with these ladders. Oh. Say that and then I was on the other side. Oh, never mind. Thought I was about to be proved wrong literally right after saying that. What is that? Oh. A little bit of a, uh, like a puzzle, I guess. I don't know why this would be here. This seems dangerous. Alright, I think I made it to the top. Gotta get in that weird chair. Go.
Okay. Yep. There we go. Connect it up, and then who knows um, what I'm supposed to do next because I did not keep track of the uh, instructions. Let me get back into my. Oh, cutscene? Okay, I don't know what that was supposed to show. Because I'm pretty sure the station. Was it turning on the station power? Because I thought the station power was already on. We saw what happened at Pearson. I thought you were. But just now, we detected activity in the MPT network. We haven't seen that in years. It seems to have been a local power transmission, isolated from the power source at the Tombo facility. Something must be wrong at the reactor there. Tombo isn't close, though. Traveling by foot would be suicide. Perhaps you can find another means of transportation inside Moon Hub. So I have to take the train, I'm pretty sure. The, uh, monorail. Alright. So we're going to Tombo, which is interesting because that is where I think the, uh, I think that's where the incident started. Pretty sure. So, I like I went the long way going to the two different pillars, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, so Tombo is, I'm pretty sure where, like they said, the react something's wrong with the reactor. I think that's where it was like sabotaged or whatever happened. So, I don't know if I'll have to do any extra stuff to get the monorail working. Park this back in its spot. I don't really think that's necessary, but... Okay. Tombo was this way. No, Tombo was this way. Looks like something's wrong here. Run diagnostic at MPT control center. Do I have to do that now? Take this first. Guess I have to do that now. All right. So I think we're gonna have to backtrack. I guess that's why it was showing that little screen. It was telling us to go back there to uh, run the diagnostic. Where do I go? I think. Wait. Oh, it's right there. Stupid. Okay. There we go. It's offline. Okay. So. I just fix it? Oh, okay. That was easy. <laughs> like, am I going to have to do a big puzzle and everything? Oh, look at that. Another memory or whatever. Like a data scan from ASE, I think. I don't know. I just call him like little guy or buddy. Oh, there's one right there too. I guess the station power wasn't fully on. Oh, it's probably the speech. Today, today we find ourselves at a crossroads. The catastrophic events that have unfolded at the top of the city have opened our eyes to a truth that cannot be denied. We have lost friends, colleagues. Our fellow colonists gave their lives for a hopeless cause, for a dying planet that we could never sustain. We used to call it home. Our pale blue dust. But the Earth we know today is a wither past, a shadow of its former self. The MPT chained us to a barren rock. But no more. All of you gathered here are survivors. You're here because you're mankind's strongest. The smartest. 
the brightest. Together, we will dare to live and risk greatness. Start a new age of discovery. Like our ancestors that fateful moment, they first set out to explore new worlds. We can turn back and confine ourselves to a dying planet. Or we can look outward. Now is the time to act. Make your decision and make it now. A new beginning dawns for humanity. And it dawns today. All right, yeah, MacArthur, that's his name. Zero minutes before the blackout. So also like after, cause he's talking about after the blackout. So yeah, so it's like, how do you have a speech prepared the same minute that it happens? So he definitely, okay. So I'm thinking he was definitely in on it, but then also Johansson, what's his first name? Um. Yeah, Isaac. Isaac Johansson. Like he said when he was talking to his daughter right here when I watched this uh, recording, he assures her that whatever he did, he did it for Kathy. So seven minutes after the blackout. So were they both in on it? Like that's what I'm confused about because it almost seems like they they both had something to do with it because there's no way he could have had uh, MacArthur couldn't have had that speech. Um, or there's no way he could have had it prepared by that time. But then also, Isaac, that he li like literally said he did something. So I don't, I have no idea. Guess we'll get more information here. What was that speech all about? MacArthur can't decide this on his own now, can he? Look, we don't call the shots here, okay? Now help me out with this stuff. Put that down, Frank. Don't you know what helium is for? Don't you think it's strange it's here instead of next to the reactor it's supposed to power? Of course I do, it's just- Just what? Should we accept everything they say? Do you even realize what the consequences are if we leave while the MPT is offline? What choice do we have? What do we really have to go back to? Floods, dust storms, blazing heat? I'm done. The council's giving us a second chance and I'm not wasting it. Now I'm done talking. Just give me a hand. Give Come on, Frank, listen to the guy. <laughs> like how it's just a picture of me chilling. Alright. Yeah, so, I don't know. It's all it's all very weird. Oh, this door's open. Cool. So we're going to Tombo now, which I'm very interested to see what's going on there. Yeah, I cannot speak. This is going to give us another uh, cool view of the moon. Wait, do I click something? No, oh, okay. This is Sarah Baker, lead engineer at Pearson Space Station. I was sent to investigate the blackout together with station mechanic Rolf Robertson. I was attacked by an AZ unit and lost consciousness. The reasons for this attack remain unclear. It seems my expedition partner has left. And I am unable to contact Pearson Space Station or any of the other facilities. I'm going to cross the frontier now, passing Copernicus Outpost 1, to get to Tombo and try to figure out what caused the MPT failure. Whoever finds this, please try to contact me. Alex? And recording. Alright, so Sarah ended up surviving, and so she made her way onto the monorail um, to head to Tombo to figure out it herself. So maybe she's at Tombo. Investigate why the monorail has stopped gaining access to the terminal. How do I get out of here? Guess back here. Yep. Okay, there we go. Terminal. We need a password. Alrighty. Sticky note time. Always on sticky notes. Huh. 
Um, okay. Well, I guess they're not always on sticky notes because we needed the year of uh, the building of this place for one of them. Here's another memory. All Copernicus One colonists, this is an evacuation. The reactor at Tombo has suffered a critical malfunction. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Whoa, calm down. Who sent you? We're here on official orders of the Lunar Council. The Lunar Council? Frank! Do you see anything strange happening across the MPT network? Mm, I've got nothing out of the ordinary. Tombo seems fine to me. Perhaps you could explain a bit more first. This is for your own safety. The situation will be explained by the Council when all colonists arrive at Moon Hub. So, MacArthur calls the shots now, huh? We don't have time for this. Just take them. What? Get your hands off me! Evacuation crew to MacArthur. We're progressing to stage two. Outpost crew and the package are on their way to Moon Hub. We didn't receive any word from the others at Reinhold, though. Good work, Evac. Wait for them to pass Outpost 1. Contact me again when the second evacuation crew arrives. Over and out. Oh, okay, so I think that was before... Yeah, I was just saying, that, that makes sense. It seems like it was before the uh, other recording of Frank and the other guy. So they were taken from here, I guess. Oh, another password? Really, you're making me find two passwords? Oh, sticky note? Nothing. Nothing on the sticky notes. Okay. There's another sticky note with nothing on it. Oh, and here's another recording. This is Pearson Station Engineer Sarah Baker again. I traveled to this outpost from Moon Hub, where I was sent to investigate the blackout together with my expedition partner. Moon Hub was completely deserted when we arrived, and we were unable to bring the MPT back online. We got separated and lost contact. I'm traveling towards Tombow alone, to continue my investigation. The only lead I have is that something has happened at the reactor facility. The entrance to the monorail station here is blocked, so I'll have to find another way to cross the landscape. It's worth a shot. Alright, I just noticed that we will get like an actual one of those memory recordings of Thera. Um, is interesting. So, so we're getting kind of two stories going on here. The one that happened right after the blackout, right before and after, and then the one of Sarah and Rolf. I, so I guess kind of three stories because we're here too, but I mean, our character doesn't talk or anything, so we don't really know what's going on. Looks like I'll need to drag this somewhere. I don't know where. Literally just a tire. Oh. Okay. So. Oh, so. The, the train stopped for here, or the monorail stopped for he her here too, and so then she had to go out in the rover, I'm assuming? Okay. Oh, look at that. I was gonna say, I feel like I've explored everywhere now. Closer. Can't look higher than that. Does the uh, little, little guy buddy over here have lasers? Nope. Uh, oh. That's probably why we need this. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now let's get him up in here. Alrighty. Now... We go somewhere. I don't know why the door passwords would be an event, but okay. Been lost here. Uh, okay, this is a maze. Oh, here we go. 
1881. One of them. Oh, that's probably the password for... Oh, look at that. So that's... Let's just open this. Oh. Okay. So, 1881 is probably the password for the other door. Maybe? Or maybe it's this one. I have no idea. We'll, we'll figure it out. Going back up. I don't... So, well, I'm trying to find out why the monorail stopped, or did I already technically get that? Oh. I did not. Where is the monorail terminal? So this one probably doesn't really have a password. It was just... Oh, no, this is 1880. Okay. I'm trying to interact with here. Here we go. All right, everything all right over at Reinhold? You asked me to let you know when they would travel down to... Okay, MacArthur and Johansson. So they, I guess they did know each other. I mean, which would make sense. They were both leadership positions. Um, what's happening? I knew it. Three monorail trains left Tombo. One side of the... Eh, the other two. Okay. So they're trying to figure out what's going on. So I guess this, whatever happened was like a plan for a while, I'm assuming. I don't know, it's also weird. I'm really like intrigued and interested to find out. Nope. I tried to crouch, which isn't a thing in this game. Um, I'm intrigued to know like what the, the ending is, but I'm so confused. read okay I, yeah i can i can read that i guess i should have done that with that other one that i thought it said construction gear but it said year so i'm really confused i need to get a password for this is it just also 1881 oh okay easy enough where was maintenance over here all right got to do a maintenance check Okay, no one cares. <laughs> Just some random information. Another video. I wonder if this is Sarah. Evacuation crew to MacArthur. Nope. Helium package and Copernicus outpost one personnel have arrived in Moonhub, sir. Evac crew two is still nowhere in sight, though. We've been trying to reach them, but we're getting no response at all. How should we proceed? Seal the door and make your way to Moonhub. Fuel needs to be in place before we arrive with the Tomboy evacuees. Sir, the other crew won't make it in time if I do that. They'll miss the launch. They know what they signed up for. Seal the door, now. Please. Yes, sir. Not a very good dude. MacArthur's second task force seems to have vanished into thin air. MacArthur gives the first task force new instruction. Deal off the outpost. Return to Moon Hub. Three hours after the blackout. Alright, yeah. So, that's not good. Go through here? Nope. Oh. A little guy can, though. I have to do it in the order of them being yellow. Yeah. No. Oh, is this a puzzle? I hate puzzles. Oh, they each... Oh, okay, okay. They each go to different ones. So now... if I do this so confused I mean I'm not confused but I'm just like how should I do this oh okay 
So this one. And then this. Oh, never mind. I really thought I had that. Um. Dang, this is really... Okay, let's just get them all back to red. And then devise a plan. So, they become yellow. And then blue. So, we have to hit all of them twice, but only twice. So, I can probably turn my flash off. That one. And that one. And this one gets... It just the two middle. And this one gets just the... Oh, so can't I just do each one twice? That not a thing. Yeah, I literally can just get both of them twice. That was easy. Now where do I go? Oh, that opened the airlock. All right, cool. I guess I can just leave him out there. Oxygen. All right, we gotta be we gotta be careful. What am I supposed to do out here? Flying around everywhere. Horn cables. Oh, he sabotaged them? What in the world? Do I do something with these or? Well, I have to do something over here. Um. I mean, it said use the monorail to leave, so maybe I can just leave now? Did it, maybe, maybe what I just did opened the doors? I don't really have any idea. I don't know why that would have even had that door to unlock in the first place then if I didn't actually need to go out there myself. I guess not. I guess it actually didn't work. Interesting. 